I've got no entrance lights. Come on! Are you here or what? We want hot dogs! Who? Never heard of it! Let me hear you, Bedford! Hot dogs! 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 We're live! Good evening, Bedford. Welcome to Sacrifice Pro Wrestling! I do like my new thing. I'm quite happy to hear more. Oh, okay. Turn it back on! He's a fan. I like that. Once again, hello Bedford. Oh, I'm happy to see you too. Speak of the devil and her eye have arrived. Your sacrifice pro wrestling commissioner, Chase Anthony. And today marks the beginning of a new era in Sacrifice Pro Wrestling. For those of you who are living under a rock, just to remind you that there's only one man in charge of Sacrifice Pro Wrestling now. There is no hustle alone. There is no hustle alone. There is only the leader of the Grand Vision himself. Chase Anthony! And that is what it is all about today. Today we bring on the Grand Vision. You've seen my Grand Vision in all its glory. We already have the flag bearer Kent Nelson. And now I have my executors of the Grand Vision, Freddie Idol. And my hero of the high seas, Arthur Scarrow. <laughs> and the manifest of the Grand Vision is simple. Simple steps. One, Hustle Malone becomes loser weight champion today. No! Two, Chase Anthony gets back the ticking time bomb championship from Harrison Leon. And three, Kent Nelson dominates. All in the name of the Grand Vision. But let's be fair, there are other matches going on today. You've all come here to see a lot of wrestling, haven't you? I almost believe you. I know you're not a fan of me, I get it, but let's pretend we all like wrestling at the very least. You've all here come here to see some wrestling, haven't you? In our main event today, two undefeated contenders. One, Tommy Kyle. The other, heading on a 461 day reign as the ultimate sacrifice champion. He defends it again against Tommy Kyle. His name is Alexander Roth. The win. Wrestling Heavyweight Championship will be on the line today at Sacrifice Pro Wrestling for the first ever time. David Grant, the champion, versus Simon Miller. We also will have later in tag team action the winner of the final sacrifice rumble, Artemis, will tag with her partner, Adonis Payne. There is a lot of action on the card for you today. And I'm going to kick it off with a championship match. And it's a championship match I'm very excited about. For this match is a loser 
weight championship match. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between. It's the Master Minority Spring. This is Sacrifice Pro Speak of the Devil. And I'm joined by TJ Lee Teach. We have ourselves a B-U-T weight. Uh, match. The spring, yes, it's uh, a very interesting nom de guerre that the uh, chic man of sacrifices coined for his ostentatious belt. Um, kind of... I don't really get it. I don't I mean, really get it. It was lights out for, for Ricky Calvay, and when he came to, he was told that he was a champion, and he's ran with it, even though that is still yes. officially the loser weight championship. He hasn't really ran with it. So he's got on a plane, got on off a plane, got on, <laughs> on a boat, and then carried on. I mean, the man, the man is very delusional. But I will say, I don't like the fur, but I do like the mirror. It's very him. I mean, uh, very, he's owning it. Let's just say he's owning it. On one side of this tag team, we have the Sheik of Sheik, and then we've got Danny Mayhem in a the swine, a smoking jacket, sliders. What are those socks? Uh, loud. That's what they are. Yeah. Blue with red stripes. Just oh, so many questions. Man, it's like Buffalo Bill. But Teach, I think you and I will both be very unsurprised that the fact that the very first match that Chase Anthony has booked as the uh, as the owner, the commissioner, the man in charge of Sacrifice, the very first thing he does is put Hustle Malone in a match where he could become the loserweight champion. I think that's very appropriate for someone like Chase Anthony to do. Now he has all the power. He wants to humiliate Hustle Malone, and I don't think that's possible to do to a man who has come through so much adversity, put himself in that kind of shape, and has shown the perseverance of a champion, not a loserweight champion, not by any stretch of imagination. But listen, let's just have a listen to this. That is passion right there. That's the protagonist, Hustle Malone. And this is his set. But Tej, I mean, granted, Hustle Malone has been putting in so much work since he uh, since he had his you know little break from in ring yes. competition. So absolutely, he deserves to. Oh come on, oh Ricky Calvay, are you serious? That's not that's not shame a man without any hate. Looks good, ball. I can't imagine Hustle any other way. But Ricky Calvay. Now I'm imagining Ricky Calvay without hair, and I feel a bit uncomfortable. I mean, well, look, just I mean, yeah, yeah. No. that is just mm, it's not shiny enough. Shocking. The following matchup scheduled for one fall is for the loser weight championship. The B-U-T oh, weight come on. championship. But wait. But wait. Isn't that... Isn't that he doesn't do... Does he isn't do isn't that what Smashing Mike lifts? The challenger, he is no longer in charge of sacrifice. Come on, Chase. He is the biggest loser in the building. And he'll always be second to Chase Anthony. Hustle Malone. And his opponent, he is the current BUT weight champion representing Los Palominos, Ricky. So he does do butt weight. Ricky Calvay does, apparently. Mm. He's a champion of the butt weight. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Ricky Calvay just, just hasn't got the memo that that is a loser weight championship. I think he got the memo and then just drew over it in crayon and made his own memo. I don't think he. I don't think Ricky Calvay lives in reality. 
I would agree with that. So, Hustle Malone, Ricky Calvay, Loserweight Championship on the line. Teach, why don't you remind the folks at home what the Loserweight Championship is and the rules behind this match? Okay, so the Loserweight Championship is titled as such. This belt is bad and you should feel bad. And the reason for that is that the only way to retain the Loserweight Champion is to lose. You have to be pinned, shoulders to the mat, one, two, three, and you retain that belt. It is the bottom of the barrel belt, whether Ricky Calvay says otherwise, turning it into the beauty weight. You are still the loser. Now, oh, Hustle Malone just, just slapped oh. the hair onto him. Now, we should mention, though, it can be a bit of a fortuitous belt. We've seen someone like Truman Roswell go through a hellacious stage of yeah. being the biggest loser oh, big shoulder tackle. No one has ever had a good time as a, as a loser weight champion. No, but it can ever. motivate you because it turned Truman Roswell into the ultimate sacrifice champion eventually. So eventually. there is a degree of oh, double-edged sword here, but... Calvay doing so. He's running the, he is running the He's ropes. running the ropes. He's getting his exercise in, Ollie. Cardio reps always important. <laughs> yep, and you. look at Nick. Nick being the absolute hero he is. Egging him on. The best dress ref reminding him of his potential. <laughs> oh, Calvay. Oh, here we go. He's, he's, he wants to get that supporting role for the main character. He's got to prove he can do it. Oh. Hustle comes back in with a shoulder block. And Ricky holding on, but Hustle Malone doing that nice little slingshot. Nice. Picks him up though, tilt to world style. And Hustle able to escape. Oh, caught him. Into the ping attack. One, two. Kick out at two. Awkward landing, but you've got to admire the quick thinking on Hustle Malone to get around there. And who'd have thought the day that Danny Mayhem would be in the face of Hustle Malone again? Well, he's a swine. The ghost of Team Matt. Oh, oh, come on, Danny. Oh, come Danny. on. Danny. He's only got two. Oh, 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 oh turned into a Death Valley driver. Into a pin. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. And much of there was quick thinking on Hustle's side. That pendulum momentum shifted so drastically to Ricky Calvay to, to catch him, maintain his base, and drive him into the mat. And Ricky now is going to start putting that frustration on Hustle. He's got to keep calm here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Danny playing Mayhem dumb with the ref. Behind the ref, Nick. Nick, don't fall for this. Come on, you're better than this. Danny Mayhem being a, a swine again. Nasty shot to the back. Oh, put it on the ears. On the ears with, with the knee right in the thoracic spine. He should know not to touch the ears, Ricky. So here's a question for you, Teach. Does Ricky... Oh, Danny may have again on, Danny. getting involved. Sorry, Ollie, go ahead. despicable behaviour from Danny Mayhem. What was your question? Uh, my question was, if Ricky Calvay understands it's the loserweight championship, uh -huh. does he understand that if he wins, he loses it? Oh, look at this double spring. Oh! Ooh. Diving shot from Hustle Malone. Well, you've touched upon a very good question there, Ollie. What would it actually do to Ricky Calvay to lose the BUT weight championship? Would it actually be worse for him? I still think I still don't think he truly understands what's happening. I don't think he gets happening. it. I think he thinks and he wins, he retains oh! it. Drop kick from midair catches him swinging into the pin. One, two. two. And Hoss Malone came crashing down like the ratings of Madame Webb. I think he thinks that the belt was just made for him win or loss. I well. think he just doesn't want to part with it. Oh, and, and we've seen this before. Oh, come on again. Right over the jaw. Trying to, trying to uh, keep himself distracted. <laughs> Daddy. Was Madame Webb that bad? I didn't think so. Uh, I haven't seen it. I think Danny Mayhem's dress sense is worse. He does look like the sort of person that would eventually get banned from a zoo. <laughs> eventually. 
actually. <laughs> well, I mean, if, he wrote, if he rolled up wearing that rather than his uh, his jogging bottoms, then yeah, I think he'd get banned immediately. Wow. Well, the eventually because he's persistent and sneaky. Kind of like Ricky Calvay being sneaky here in this match, utilizing Danny Mayhem as an extra pair of eyes and arms and legs. And the crowd coming alive there for Hustle, the support in Bedford. Oh, this is his home. Alone, yeah. This is his house here and Leighton Buzzard. Literally the house that Hustle built. Reversal on the whip, though. Oh, but Ricky oh, scouts oh, it. And a, <laughs> a drop kick again. Hustle Malone. We talked about the momentum earlier, and the momentum getting the uh, the better of Hustle Malone previously, but he oh, used it to his advantage there. Well, let's talk about the conditioning of Hustle Malone. He's been a kip up and go straight into a drop kick. That doesn't happen unless you're in phenomenal shape. And look at this. He's getting that prime shot. Oh, and Calvay goes behind Hustle Malone. Oh, oh big clothesline turns him inside out. And the Stanley Kubrick of Sacrifice Pro lines up. Oh, could be looking for a Brainmaker. Oh, but well, wait, you see Danny made oh, it. Low blow. Danny low said his eyes still damaged. Come Danny. on. Wait, right, Hustle, Hustle, Hustle firing through. Denied by Ricky again. That's just ridiculous. And that's that's a compromising position. It's a very compromising position. That's not the money show that Hustle Malone was looking for. It's all about angles, right? It's all about angles. Hustle rallying this packed out crowd here tonight. Palm strike from Hustle. Retaliation from Calvay. And you gotta think of those gloves, it adds a little bit of a, a little bit of a snap. When it hits the skin. Oh. Hustle firing up. Oh, catches it. Pulls him in. Look at the get in the sea. Springs up again. Oh! oh Caught him with a lung blower. Rolls him over into the pin. One, One two. two. Oh, I thought we had a new loser weight champion then. The belt stock would have immediately gone up. I wouldn't chase Anthony. Just absolutely love that. But again, though, Calvay with the persistence. Kick out at two again. He's just go he's trying to drag him into deep waters with that deep double leg cover. And... That's not going to help you, Ricky. I don't know what sort of communication that was in the Los Palominos camp. But they seem to have an idea. Wait, reversal. Oh, oh, and oh. but he hangs on. Oh, look at this then. Wait, Danny, da Danny have hasn't realized. Oh. Danny, you swine, what are you doing? Comes Goes in, up the block shot. Oh, oh no! Get, get in the sea! Into the pin. One, two, three! Hustle Malone wins! Ricky Calvay retains! Oh, they have snacks as they enter. What are they eating? What are they eating? What's that? A little sandwich? What we got? Oh, he's dipping. Is he dipping? I don't know. What do you make of it, TJ? What's in the cup? What's in the cup? What's in the cup? Had to let Mr. Chase Anthony get his announcements out, but that is Gorilla Warfare. They are they are in bulk season right now, Patty. Aren't we all? Well, uh, yes, but they are they are definitely um, very Peaky. content. This is the second show where they've come out and really don't seem that bothered. And uh, I, it seems to be working for them. I can't believe I'm saying that. Sometimes when you don't put so much pressure on yourself, you perform at the best. I mean, I'm, why would I call you? You're younger than me. <laughs> I ain't never seen my dad do Daddy, that before. Daddy Goose apparently really wants me to make sure I go. 
<laughs> I call him his dad. He's younger than me, but sure. I mean, with a with a beard like that, a height like that, whatever. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> I think they're about to. Everything they do whenever they have a microphone is sinning. That's why they don't have it right now. Everything they do whilst they breathe is a sin. Do you know what? That's that's valid. <laughs> Make no mistake, though, Patsy, they are jackets, dangerous. Though, oh, that's fantastic. Say. Lovely jacket. Fantastic jacket. Uh, a very good shade of green, but they are dangerous when they get their game faces on, and they're going to need to be because Josh Spicer is on a warpath, and he's got someone in the, apparently in his corner. We'll find out who. Josh Spicer. Coming to the ring, looking better than ever. New music, new gear, new, new mentality. Look. look at that. Look at this. And the crowd is absolutely electric. Very much like this cyberpunk vibe that my guy is going for right now. He wants you to step over the edge and he is bad for your health. And he's making it very clear that this is a different Josh Spicer. Let's see, Patty. Definitely. Who's coming with him? Gonna get some indigestion from this amount of spice tonight. <laughs> He is Daddy High's baby boy. <laughs> Josh. Did that tickle you, dude? <laughs> no, he's not Josh High. Come on. This is a moment for Josh Spicer. This is a rebirth thing for Spicer. His seed. I oh thought it was a God. spice. His mystery. <laughs> Oh, I'm intrigued. I I may need that's my seat on a t-shirt. <laughs> that man is going to be the death of me. Oh, there's oh. an interesting partner for oh. him, Patty. Oh, 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 I'm blind. I'm blind. Look at her. Go. Oh, my God. Absolutely glorious. It's Coming the, to the flash on. Evie Madden. Oh, flick your weave, girl! Flick your weave! Fierce, absolutely fierce. Speaking of someone else with a, a new attitude for the last few months, the fashion. Fashion is serving looks, serving moves, serving other things we can't say on commentary, but serving everything, and has been plying her trade up and down the country and trained a lot. With Josh Spicer. And now is the time to see whether that training has paid off. It's going to need to because despite the jokes, despite the lack of days attitude, Guerrilla Warfare are the top dogs in our Saints of Sacrifice tag team division. Mm, 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 mm. And that Dullahan experience is a dangerous maneuver to take from anybody. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited about the energy in the ring right now. I feel like it's very two ends of the spectrum right yes. now. Yes. Yeah, I would. I would agree. He does one show of mythos, and he thinks he deserves to have someone taking his coffee. Unbelievable. We all know someone like that. We all. Know we all know like someone who's a bit of a diva. You know what we call him, right? We call him a silly goose. A si <laughs> Is that your seed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, we're out the way. We're professionals here. <clears throat> now, it is a non-title match. We must stress that. Non-title. Should, should Gorilla Warfare win? Uh, sorry, should they lose? The, the belts will not change hands, but that is a big should. And you see Josh Spicer backing up behind him. Seems to be taking a moment here. Family show! <laughs> oh my god. I ain't seen that much jive rating since Magic Mike. See now, as funny as this is, how long is this gonna go on for before Spicer loses his call? Depending on Spicer's own daddy issues, this could really hit a nerve. Well this is it, I mean you put me in that wrestling, if someone says that my daddy, they'll get smacked to the jaw, so it depends on how well you can handle it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
delegating now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and there's, there's your comeuppance right there. I, I have it, don't gonna, know if he was expecting a facial, but that's what he got. I was going to say, got. I have it. I'm going to throw you, Patty. That is not the first facial that Alexander Hart has experienced. <laughs> And now we're going to focus on the in-ring action. Spice is oh. taking it to one half of Guerrilla Warfare. Spice are absolutely taking the upper hand right now. Just Ooh. a one count. Let's see how hot this Spice really gets. Let's see how hard the Scoville units go. Tag made the Fash Hunt in. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Let me see it. Excellent teamwork there. And Burn is on the back foot. As Evie Madden, of course, former City Sacrifice champion herself, would love to get back up there. Clearly shown she's got the got the juice to get there. <laughs> oh! And now that deep arm drag. Lovely arm drag. Oh, so good. She showed it me again. Burn is on Dream Street. As the whale's on a pick up, Evie though, but she reverses and right into no man's land. Lovely. Excellent tag. Keeps them there, snap there, and Spicer lines him up for a shot to the back. Lateral press follows. Nice little bit of synergy there from those two. Absolutely but beautiful chemistry, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we, we can all aspire to having that kind of chemistry in life, mm -hmm, Patty. Mm -hmm. Big chop. That, that body arm is going to help a little bit. Mm. Depends on the chop. Oh, that I, was a meaty one. So I was going to say, I have to yeah. say, I don't think it's helping that much right now. Oh, and that step up knee landed, though. How about that knee? Oh, but Pixabay rolls through. Very nice with Spicer, but gets caught by a very stiff lariat. You know, it's weird to say, Patty, but ever since this new kind of don't care attitude of of Girl of World, they have never been more successful. Maybe, like you said, it is, yes. there's something to say, taking that pressure off, just not really caring. That yes, was a nasty yes. landing on his coccyx. It, it just seems to be working for them, Patty. It does seem to be working. And there is something to say about, you know, if are you really a tag team if you don't argue all the bloody time? It, but it's like a marriage. It's like any cohabitation. Correct. You've you, you got to have some tension there. You've got to have a way of... Mm. And actually, you would argue, arguing is good to get out that tension. Yes, it's healthy to exert one's tension. You don't places. You don't keep it all built up inside you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got to let it out every now and again, maybe into someone's face. I mean, this, is, this has been your relationship corner with Patty and Teach. And come back next time, we will tell you how else to best use your anger. Uh, perhaps not relationship the lessons with it, a hug. We should call it lessons in the ring. Lessons in the ring. That may already be a copyright material. We'll find out. It probably is. <laughs> and now Burn picks it up and just a straight suplex floats over. Arrogant cover, hand over the face, and Spicer perhaps on instinct. Patty kicks out, but made a mistake. For as much fun as we're having, it's not a fun time for Spicer. Absolutely not. And still working on that back, knee right into the center of the spine as Spicer's trying to get around. I'm noting the tape on his fingers there as well. Well, he did Definitely. break them. Yeah, in keeping what I was going to say with the broken finger. Perhaps sometimes we need a catalyst to change things in our life, and perhaps that broken finger was Josh Spicer's. That is very insightful. I very like that. Insightful. you, you, you got to turn a negative to a positive. <laughs> Maybe, and you could tell Spicer's not me, the, the broken finger is the best thing that ever happened to him. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the best thing that's ever happened to him is oh. about to happen. Let's Hyde, see. Hyde can't hit his own son. Very conflicted there. He's trying to get away, but oh, 
And the tag's been made. And there's there's still this, yeah. is in. <laughs> Sparkles. Boom. Big knee. And Evie is, is not wasting any time with the net breaker. Looks the leg. And Hyde says enough. Oh. Scoop slam. <laughs> Quick tag. Hyde back in. And has no illusions, no issues with taking on Evie. Big, big Irish whip. Big Irish whip from a big Irish guy. Burn saying, oh, you'll hit her. He really is frustrated watching this. Taking a lap. I think he's just kind of frustrated that Hyde's buying into the illusion that Spicer is his son. Yeah, really might, behind might be Evie here, trying to lift her spirits. He might be taking the joke a bit too far. Another tag made. I really feel like Burns about to take out his frustrations on Evie. I would agree. Oh, I felt that, didn't you? Scoop slam, puts all his weight on that lap, will press just a two. Proving that you can be fierce and fabulous at the same time. Absolutely. And now... He's telling the ref. I've yeah, the ref should be a bit more fit, firm about that. You that's, know? A, that's a special level of bad to be bossing your ref around. Evie coming back real strong. And Evie going off the ropes. Caught oh. by Burn. I think hides him for a long evening. Different kind of arm drag there. Yeah, that was a, that was more a Michael Myers arm <laughs> drag. <laughs> Everything has its place. Hyde is embodying the "Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee" moment because I think he's going to get nastier. Hyde is embodying Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, both Burn of, is doing the dragon. Burn is Hyde Michael is embodying. Yeah, it was Burn's Michael Myers. Who is Hyde? I don't particularly want to say Freddy Krueger. Oh, no, definitely not Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Probably more like Jason. Oh, that's actually really good, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, it's, 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 equal, it's equal opportunities, and Evie's going to have it. Evie's saying, go ahead, try me. And Evie fighting back... Against Guerrilla Warfare, Patty, this is uh, this happy, is an ass kicking right here. Happy belated International Women's Day, everyone. Evie showing us how it's done. Unfortunately, Hyde getting the upper hand there. And now being held. And oh no! <laughs> Tag made Spicer in the Shot miscommunication. The him. Oh gosh! Super kick. Lovely super kick. There goes kick. your da. <laughs> oh, Quick dear. reversal. And Burn goes in, catches a knee. Oh, that's a bad place to be if your name is Nathan Burn. Ooh, two knees to the back. And that's quick German. Oh, boy, Burn on Dream Street as Evie goes in for the code red. Absolutely stunning. And Spicer lines up Burn! Absolute an assassination right there. One, two, throw! No, that was two! Hyde pulling at the left! Disgusting behaviour. Hyde showing his pullout games on point. Which makes me wonder how he's anyone's dad. I need a moment. I need to <laughs> snort in my drink. Oh, what a high brings this out of me. Knocks down. You know, he's a knocks down Spicer. Knocks down Evie, Evie straight after. <laughs> and goes in for that backhand slap and super kick met by Spicer. Caught. Oh! One. No! With a pendulum flatliner and 
Spicer's not having any of it. Yes, yeah, Spicer managed to kick out, but make no mistake by it, the damage has been done. And Hyde doesn't seem to know what to do with himself. Very conflicted. We've all thought about hitting our child. That was a joke. I hope nobody here has thought about hitting their child. <laughs> I just want to yeah. clarify. Disclaimer, <laughs> please do not do that. But Spicer yeah, trying to get that. into the Fash Hunt and blocked by Hyde. Finally gets the tag. Fash Hunt in. Coming in hot. And What's now the learning from Spicer? Yeah. <laughs> See the capsizing flow. Double offense, but not enough as Ooh, Hyde says good. enough. Flung out of the ring. Goes for the roaring forearm and a kick from Spicer. Short German Incredible from Evie. Incredible German from Evie. Lovely strength. Lines up the big man for the Lariat. One, two, no. Oh. Honestly, that man must be three times Evie's weight. Well, don't tell him that. I'll tell him why. One. <laughs> Burn with the cross arm. And he looks incensed. And Evie has found herself in the worst place possible. Oh, as Guerrilla is... Warfare hit the double. Oh, we know. Caught him. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. It's over. Guerrilla Warfare. Wow. For the win. I thought for a moment, I thought I saw Burns head bounce off the canvas, but no, the Dullahan experience landed and that is the end of that. Evie and Spicer still going for each other. Shows the shows the true friendship that has been built here, I have to say. A true friendship, but uh, not enough to topple the apathetic giants guerrilla warfare. You try some things, they don't always work. That is what experimentation's all about, but Josh Spice is gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Guerrilla Warfare are gonna go do some more bulking at Burger King. Beautiful moment. Beautiful moment. Love that. Friends support friends, man. against Guerrilla Warfare. We now move on to a one-on-one -on -one match that potentially contains more meat than an Australian barbecue, more protein than the largest pack of grenade bars you can get at Costco. This match is Cy Gregory versus Big Wavy Roy Johnson. Well, we go back to our singles division now, Patty, and much like much like our tag match, there's a lot of moving parts on today's card, and one of them is the nature of Cy Gregory's last victory here at Sacrifice. I hope you're bulking, TJ, because we're about to get. Beefy. I need some Cy Gregory PT, and that means it's bulk season. Cy Gregory did pick up the win at our last, uh, our last show, but, but without but <laughs> it was done with a bit of an asterisk when there was an interference not facilitated by Cy Gregory that we know of. He definitely seemed to deny all knowledge of, uh, of any interference. Well, since, since returning, he has made a point of he wants to do things the right way, the clean way, so I don't think he was... I, I believe him. He is taking the dad road to, to victory, I suppose. Or trying to. 
Well, his opponent, big wavy Roy Johnson. Wait, what? Oh! 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 Another masked. Another hooded person just blasting Roy Johnson. What? What? And immediately gets out of dodge exactly the same way the last show went. Sai is si going to see what it's about. Clearly, he has no idea what's going on. I mean, do you? No, no I've, I've got no idea. I don't. Do they? I don't think they do. Do you? He so that's something. No something says like Chase Anthony would facilitate. It does seem like a Chase Anthony. Uh, oh, you are the devil. You know. Well, nevertheless, referee. Speaking of Roy. Is he good? Uh, oh, he's I, up. I, I mean, he's up, but he's not moving. I mean. Let's give it a moment here. Sight. Greg again, having denying a all, all involvement in the activity. He's again having to defend himself when he doesn't mm. need to. Mm. Big wavy looks hurt. I uh, could be a could be quad damage. Could be could be anything. I mean, the man is is made from granite. I mean, he f you know. I mean, he, when your body fat is that low. The only thing that Roy Johnson fears is carbs. There is nothing else as Matt Pearson. He is a fighter though, and Ooh. he goes straight in with a shoulder check. That, I, I'd, I'd go flying from that shoulder check, and, and that's very evident from how far he moved Cy Gregory. Yes, so the cut above himself, yeah. But Roy is not going to quit here. He is a prize fighter. He did not come out to just say, no, I'm too hurt now. He will push himself. Both men, Patty, former Ultimate Sacrifice champions. Let's oh, we figure. you are correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. You are absolutely spot on. Bang on the money there. Really showing the uh, the importance of endurance training um, here by taking taking some beef before his match has even begun. Begun. Big Wavy entering the ring again. Well, Big Wavy saying enough is enough. Might be going for that final set. Could be going for the pounce. No, picking him up for the final set. Oof, making him look like nothing. Yeah, but but Sai gets out of the way. Oh! Double lariat. He's like, two big boys. So doing it's big that meaty things. Of question of uh, uh, when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force. How about when two unstoppable oh. forces meet each other? Do they cancel out or do they? Perfect just... timing, Patty. I think they both go crashing. They do go crashing. I mean, when you're that big, you're going to fall that hard. Well, what is that phrase? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's, it's very true. Sacred geometry in their movement right now as well. I that just is a fantastic that phrase. Sacred mm -hmm. geometry. We should coin that. You should coin that. <laughs> I think it's already a thing. Ah. <laughs> We're going to pretend it's yours. <laughs> Oof. Oh, laid that shot in, and Sai goes back to the middle rope. Oh, oh, it's got to take a lot to make any of these guys. Tumble. Oh my God, so it's reminding me of last night's boxing, Francis and Gano and AJ. But those two going, throwing leather. Someone is gonna go night night. Oh, big European. Nice boot to the midsection. I'll oh, go for the go Up for the, on the shoulders. Might go for the cut above. Oh. No. Big Wavy has other ideas. Headbutt. Oh, incredible. Good God. Phenomenal force. Going in, but Sai gets out of the way wise. The agility on that man is just something else. Oh, oh my God, what a lariat. I heard that and I felt it and I think everyone else here did too. One, two, three, and Clean. that is it. Clean. Come in, say your piece and go home. He's got a wife to hang out with. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> that was a hellacious night. That was bicep on skull. A flash finish, but Cy Gregory looks frustrated because again, that is the second win in a row that must have an asterisk next to it in the history books. Cy Gregory asterisk.
And you see, he says, not what I wanted. And I do believe him. That is, that is got to... When you're a competitor at that level, you want a win to be clean. And that's the second time someone's again been like, you know what? No, I don't want to shake your hand. And you can't blame Roy Johnson because to him, he came out ready to compete. He got screwed and then he lost. So whether it's size four or not, his only direction for his anger is to Cy Gregory. I get it. I get it. Maybe he just needs some time to cool off. I mean, we, we hear you, but... I mean, we hear you. I mean, we hope we so. Hear you. We believe you, Sir Gregory. We believe you. He, I, I do. I believe him, man. If I was on, I, if I was the jury in this case, I'd be voting that I believe Sir when Gregory. But it, the, I the, want to believe him, Patty. But I want to believe. There but was you a, cannot deny that something, somebody, yeah. somebody's happening. Somebody's involved. Somebody's interfering. When you've had a reign as long as his, where he was that nasty, it's hard to turn over a new leaf, but we will have to wait and see. It's hard to believe that he comes back Moving straight right all the way to the other end. I claim that I am obsessed with him. I'm not obsessed with you, Harrison Leon. I am obsessed with the fact that since you won that ticking time on championship belt, you do not show respect for authority. And so, what better way to get respect than by having the executors of the Grand Vision have 10 minutes to beat respect into the ticking time bomb champion and return the ticking time bomb championship to Chase Anthony. The following matchup scheduled for one fall has a 10 minute time limit and is for the ticking time bomb championship. Well, that is some arrogance there for Chase Anthony to feel that the bell should go back to him. Do you expect anything else? No, I do not. Well, oh, that's on you then, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Harsh but fair. <laughs> we come to our first half. Main event for the ticking time bomb championship. Ding, ding, ding. And the first man out has the newest acquisition, or one of the newest acquisitions, oh! By Chase Anthony, it's Arthur Scoro. Who are me, What? Looking to plunder the seas of sacrifice. He'll see what's in your booty. Family <laughs> straight, Patty. Come on. <laughs> treasure. <laughs> I'm talking about treasure. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Nevertheless, you're not wrong. He is here to plunder. The treasures of sacrifice, and when you look at the makeup of this match, it is two versus one. The odds are not in House of the Odds' favour. I, I think Freddy Idol covered the maths very, very clear in his promo. That's a very good point, and if you haven't checked out the promos, always check out Sacrifice Pro Wrestling Socials. Half the story's in the promos, folks. I am going to want to steal that jacket, though, I have to say. It is a, that is a beautiful jacket. There's a man who has worked very, very hard at his craft, taking nothing else away from there. And, of course, the second equation here. Freddy Idol, the other half of the newest acquisitions for Chase Anthony. I have to say, it hurts me to say it, but I do love this little era that Freddy Idol's getting into at the moment. He's very cocky. I like to see it. Well, cockiness can sometimes just be because of how good you think you really are, or it can be misguided. We'll have to find out, but Freddy Idol looks to back up all the talk. We should all have a little bit of narcissism. Freddy Idol yes. has got mine, and that's why my so self-esteem is so low. Well, it shouldn't be, Patty. You're a wonderful person, friend, 
and commentator. Not as good as Freddy Idol. Look at him go! <laughs> As a very confident man, and both these individuals will need to be confident. And a very tactile jacket. They are about to go up against the longest reigning ticking time bomb champion. Now, I kind of want to know, mm -hmm. if they pin Harrison, what happens when they go against each other? Well, they don't automatically go against each other. Oh, of course they don't go against each other. No. It would be a, a win either way, and then they would go their separate ways and continue on. I mean, anything can happen in the ring. Maybe they'll turn of course. on each other. It's also a veritable shark tank. When your ego is that big. Yeah, and I'm talking of big egos. <laughs> when you talk about the shark tank of Sacrifice Pro, there is always going to be a different person standing in front of you looking for that belt, that target on your back. And Harrison Leon has handled that pressure and then some. And you need a big ego in order to wear to, that much glitter, to wear that much glitter, <laughs> to bear that much weight. I mean, you you, you nailed it in one, Patty. <laughs> we nailed it. That was a joint effort. We, Showing off that belt. This is the franchise, the flyest. Harrison Leon is money, and he knows it. Member of the 8-7, this man is looking to continue this historic reign mm. as the Ticking Time Bomb champion. But the odds are stacked against him as we get ready to start our clock. The stopwatch is definitely watching him closely, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, we should remind you of our Ticking Time Bomb Championship rules. You must pin, submit your opponent in 10 minutes. If you do not, the belt will be vacated. And you will have to challenge at the following opportunity. Mastermind. Get off your seat, up on your feet. Ten minutes on that phone. Take my microphone. You will do the countdown. Mastermind has been called yeah. out. Again, an Oliver shot. The m <laughs> wouldn't dare. Wouldn't dream of it, Mastermind. Can the mastermind work a mic? <laughs> <laughs> I think he uh, knows his way around uh, large phallic audio equipment. <laughs> Bell rung, we're underway. And, Patty, if you are Harrison Leon, what is your strategy here? Exactly what he's doing. Come in hot, get it done, finish the job. 
keep the glitter on. And keep the glitter on. Don't get it on the ring. Well, that might be an inevitability when you body splash like that. Beautiful. Lining them both up in one corner. One move hits two birds. Have you ever seen Skuro. that? And Freddie Idol now trading with the ticking time on champion. Oh, oh, oh my God. My goodness. This I felt that. Brother does the chops like nobody else. I really think Freddie Idol's still a little bit knocked out from that. And he's definitely knocked out from nice that. Nice blockbuster. Deep cover. Oh. That would have been under 60 seconds. That, historic that would have been. That would have been historic. And I'm, I'm very surprised it didn't happen. But I do feel like in a in a multiverse somewhere else, it definitely Honestly, did. Patty, I normally have to beg to be slapped that hard. That was That is ridiculous. You normally have to pay for that. <laughs> oh, no, I don't pay. I just beg. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, ducks the line, keeps score on the outside, big Comes boom. in strong with that foot. Another two. strong pin, I really thought he had that one as well. Well, the longer a champion reigns, the more dominant they become. They get that air invincibility, and I think that's what Harrison Leon's got right now. He's definitely in that beautiful peak. Oh, trying Ooh. to block that suplex. Shot to the ribs, tries to soften him up, no. Harrison Leon still oh. picking him up. Just a nasty slap to the ribs. And you see he's got his hands on that stomach to push him up. And Chase says no. Shot block from Scoro. He wanted a front row seat for a reason, didn't he, that naughty boy? He is a naughty boy. Speaking of naughty boys, only giving us the eight-minute call. And suplex oh. on the big man. Double suplex, twin suplex. Oh, oh. Now you talked about this, Patty. I called this. You called this. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. But this is the thing about being a manager is you don't have the competitor spirit. It doesn't matter to him. Mm. It matters to wrestlers who want to fill their trophy cabinets. Correct. This is this is a sport where you can only have a dual championship if it's tag team. This is not tag team, Patty. This is not tag team, but I, I don't think tag team is the aim here. I think no. Chase Anthony has got a goal in mind. Freddie Idol with the double knees. I, I don't disagree that Freddie do, uh, that Chase doesn't have a goal in mind, but the problem is that you're asking another guy to lie down and lose, and that's very that's a tough pill to swallow. To swallow no matter who you are in wrestling. Mm. I don't get it. I'm not that competitive. <laughs> These guys are though. And Harrison trying to get out of that corner, but he's been is, cornered yeah. himself, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes gone. We are a third of this match down now. And Freddie did not try to break up the pin that time. I think they're on board with uh, Chase Anthony's ideology now, maybe. I saw that little fist bump. An alliance forming. Ooh. Double, a double shots there. And they are executors of the vision, as Chase executors called it. Executors of the vision. What does that even mean? That was culty. Chase Anthony is definitely a cult. Oh, and throwing that belt in his face saying, how badly do you want it? And Patsy, do you think, with this kind of time limit, do you think that adds a degree of urgency? Or do you feel that that perhaps is a benefit because you're constantly focused? Oh, completely adds the sense of urgency. If you're anything like me, 10 minutes is not a very long time. And I just run around stressed. This, this match is nothing else if not an allegory for your brain running around stressed, isn't it? Definitely. Everybody here is running around stressed. <laughs> Although, I have to say, oh! after Skuro, Freddie Idol making it look very easy. Nice Samoan drop there from Skuro. Not enough. Not enough. We are nearing the halfway point of this match, folks. Harrison Leon is looking defeated. Knee to the midsection. Skoro goes off and beautiful Oof. tandem offense there. Double pin. And Freddie had to let go, Patty. I, I saw that. I saw that friction. It was it was warm to the touch. Another knee. Freddie Idol loves that knee. Arthur Skoro loves that boot. Boom, boom. Harrison Leon. Can he fight back? 
Oh, Ooh. now that is a, a nice return shot, but we know Harrison. Harrison knows how to lay them in. Oof. I would not want to take too many of those and all denied, but meeting of the minds. Sometimes working together works against you. And Harrison, big splash. He's very limmy. That is a very big splash. Oh, but caught free oh. with the stunner. Excellent communication, though I hate to say that. And goes over a big clothesline. Very big clothesline. Just a two as Ollie calls out. Four minutes remaining. Four minutes remaining. Four minutes remaining. Things are getting desperate here now. Can the Harrison Leon find anything left in the tank? The clock is very much against Harrison Leon. Just over a third of the match to go. And plants him. That was nasty. Holds him up and oh, Scuro. Oh, that was nastier. One, two, two. Just a two, but that was not an emphatic kick out. Scuro dropping him down and Freddy trying to knock his block off. Those kick outs are not strong anymore. Mm -mm. They are definitely weakened. Just a one. I don't know if I've ever seen Harrison Leon in this position before. I would agree. I don't think I have either. It's, it's uncomfortable to see him this hurt. Kick to the midsection and a knee. Three minutes remaining. Oh, oh. the big boot and knocked Freddy. Miscommunication, Harrison Leon. Oh. Big shoulder check. How about another one? Kicks the arm away, picks him up. Swings him round. Can he get that pin? One. So no, he cannot chase Anthony pulling a Harrison Leon. Big mistake. Dirty, dirty trickster. Oh, and look who it is. Roy Johnson, of course. Harrison Leon, a member of the 8-7. You don't mess with interest like that. And we are about to get to the final. Chase Anthony showing him his friends. Oh, Freddie Harrison Idol. Leon showing him his. Freddie Idol coming in hot with something. And catches him into that body splash, but Harrison rolls through oh, and picks up kicking Freddie him up. Idol. Beautiful, swings him round. Can he get the pin? Two. And Ollie Spring breaks the mic. The mastermind at work. The mastermind. Well, for the five seconds we heard, we sounded great. At eight minutes, 13 seconds. He gets there in the end. He didn't blow the spot. Beautiful. Harrison Leon retains Patty. Beautiful moment. Look at him. Very worn down. But a champion nonetheless. And that is how we're going to end the first half. A lot of moving parts already. When you come back, you'll be greeted by The Springs. The Springs. Emily and Ollie. I've been TJ Lee. I've been Patty Kings. And we'll see you next time. Bye.
That's right, folks. It's a tag team match to kick off the second half of Sacrifice Pro Speaker the Devil. The springs are on commentary. Hello, the Emily. The springs. I'm a fan of that. Yeah. I like it. Not a fan of being full named by uh, Chase Anthony. Yeah. And here we have the protocol. Look at this. Liam McCarthy, Connor Albright. That's a long way up, Em. The Protocol making their tag team debut here in Sacrifice. But they have teamed elsewhere, quite a few places, and they've been very successful. So a very, very big challenge. You're just talking about Liam McCarthy here. Pretty much, yeah. Very big challenge. But essentially, and they've got they've got the perfect mix, right, of, of size and speed. I uh, I mean, I guess you're right there. He's uh, in, an intimidate. Oh my goodness, that in that intimidated me. Yeah, I I just uh, a little bit of weed just came out. Oh no. Yep. And I know how much you love Connor Albright, so... Uh, quite an intimidating force. I can't tell if the smiley face on his jacket is, is smiling or screaming. I guess it all depends where the creases are. <laughs> depends on the angles. Yeah. Maybe if he flexes, it will look extra angry. Or maybe if he puts it on Liam McCarthy, it'll be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. However, their opponents today riding a wave of momentum. Oh, I like that. Here they come. The, the Odyssey. Odyssey. Adonis Payne and Artemis, the winner of the Last Chance Rumble. And Adonis Payne, uh, it's so good to be able to say Adonis Payne again, right? Yeah, Adonis Payne. Keep, keep saying it. Adonis Payne. And again, say it some Adonis more. Adonis Payne. We're excited to have him back. We're excited to have his name back. And we're excited to see him with Artemis. What are they going to be capable of? Fresh off the back of, you know, their first wins, or, or, or almost in sacrifice. It's been a long time since Adonis Payne picked up a victory, and Artemis hasn't had the best record here. And technically the first time as the Odyssey in sacrifice. There's been some other matches, but, you know, that was during a bit of an identity thing, so we won't, uh, we won't uh, judge them for that. No, no, you're right. This is the first time we are seeing Artemis and Adonis Pain. Say it again. Adonis Pain. Let's see if Chase will say it. The following is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Shut up. Introducing first the tag team to my right. First, you're easy to put down the antidepressants and start smiling. Connor Albright. And the conquering king of the monsters. I wonder if Chase is sort of licking the battery. So we should suggest that. We should to definitely him. suggest. Just lick the tips. Yeah. Or just put it in one of the wall outlets. You can see how popular the Odyssey are, or you can hear how popular the Odyssey are. And with Artemis winning the Rumble, she has the opportunity to challenge for any championship she wants. I doubt it'll be the Loserweight Championship. Uh, I hope not. So it could be the ticking time bomb. Could be the ultimate sacrifice championship. Or it could even be the tag team championships. Artemis has got a lot of options on her plate. Ready, 
iPhone's on the ropes. He's a cheer. He's a cheer. And an early power advantage from Artemis M. I mean, power is the, the right word to use. I mean, if you look at Artemis, she is, she's power incarnate. She's, uh, she's, she's, frankly, she's inspiring. Big, strong gun. Look at this, Connor Albright being backed up again. Oh, that's not very nice, though. Mm. Conor Albright says he's big and strong until Ooh. Artemis just launches him across the ring. Side headlock. This is almost comical for Artemis. You're just finding this so easy to throw to throw Conor around like this. Oh, what a handful of hair. Oh. Conor Albright wants to talk about cheating. But you don't want to piss off Artemis. Don't do it. Picks him up. Another Ooh. scoop slam. Do you know, that's the advice I always give people. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't piss off Artemis. That's basically just the two main rules of life. Yeah. You do those things and you'll live, uh, you'll live a long and fulfilled life. Mm. You know who hasn't pissed off Artemis? Adonis Payne. Adonis Payne. Oh, look at the shades of the lads. Oh. You love to see it. Shout out to Alex Echo and Ben Jones. I hear, uh, I hear Alex is enjoying his, uh, his retirement. And here we go, a bit of a heart attack to Conor Albright. He's not looking very bright right now, is he? he? Is Where's not. that smile, Conor? Wait a second, wait a second. Liam McCarthy looking to come in. And the, the Odyssey Ooh. looking to dispatch the big man. Oh, but catches it in the force of Liam McCarthy. Oh, wait a second. Oh, low bridge. Goodbye, uh, Liam. He Held is to over. the outside. He's over, yeah. Over the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> More over than me, apparently. <laughs> Clothesline in the corner. And a boot from Artemis. Oh, and a big corner drop kick from Adonis Payne. Adonis Payne. Adonis Payne. Adonis Payne. And Em, you've been you've been here for a oh, wait wait a second. We'll get back to this in a minute. Look at this. Got some sick tag moves. Oh, oh big back sent on into the pin. One, One two, two. Oh. kick out at two. You've been here for a lot of the journey uh, of Adonis Payne here in Sacrifice. You've seen what he was like without his identity. How big a difference oh. is that? That you know the ability of having his name back going to make for him. Oh, I mean, you can see the difference in him right now. I mean, I well, can't see him at the moment. <laughs> we could. That was the curse of the commentator. Yes, yes. I think that was just the curse of, of you. I think that was yeah. you. That's, yeah. that's all on me. That wasn't me. Adonis Payne, I do apologise, my friend. But Artemis, Artemis is He's in so there. so supportive. As, as, as all teammates should be. Yeah. Oh, Artemis looking to slam Ooh. the big man. Is that wise? That is, a, that is a lot of man meat to lift there. Could say he's a slab of a man. Could say he's a slab of a man. As a great man once said. A great, he did. <laughs> Ducks the clothesline. Oh, but eats the flying cross body. It's about to say like a bug on a windshield, except that bug. Is a uh, is a bison. Is yes. a woolly mammoth. One, two, kick out. Oh, one though. One. That's a message sent from Artemis to kick out a one to say you're going to do a lot more than throw a, a, a mammoth at me. Forearm from Connor. Like a mammoth could take down Artemis. Right. I know I'm fangirling a bit, but that's okay. My goodness, have you seen what she's capable of? Just oh. you. Just you wait till Simon Miller comes out. The roles can reverse there, babe. And look at this. It's a pink cover, technically, but mm. cocky. Knee to the thoracic spine. You see how cocky they were. Another name for the yeah. thoracic spine. Tag made. 
This is the thing, folks. The Odyssey aren't in there with just two guys randomly thrown together. This is the protocol. The size of Liam McCarthy. The speed and the brains of Connor Albright. Brains? You, okay, we're going with brains. I mean, he's not the size, is he? Let's look, mm. look, look at him. You know, they complement each other. Oh. And a big scoop slam from Big Liam. But even that couldn't take a down. All right off the ropes. Oh, what is this? Just, uh, just having a hug. Oh, hug and a slam. Connor All right into the pin. Two. And Shoulder up. Odyssey chance firing up Adonis Payne on the apron firing up I'm seeing some frustration in him but it's like positive frustration it's not like before when he'd lost his identities oh he's desperate to just get in there he's got his confidence yeah it's great to see oh. unlike that German suplex which is not great to see if you're a fan of the Odyssey mm -hmm. I wish I hadn't seen that two oh. Kick out at two again. Artemis just showing some heart right now. Some Bushido. Indeed. Some fighting spirit. And what is this? Tag team synergy from the protocol. Into the pin. One, One two. two. Oh. Artemis kicks out again. Artemis really being tested right now. He's trying to go for that tag, but Connor Albright just making sure, making damn sure that the tag isn't made. Looking for a suplex, but Artemis putting the brakes on. I think Connor feels like he's got a lot to prove at this point. Oh. Artemis backing him up. Oh, there's the force of Artemis. And now some separation. And there's the tag. Tag made. Oh, boot to Liam McCarthy. Close line to Connor Albright. Adonis Payne is fired up. Oh, oh. Rapid fire offense from the Conqueror. And he's got the protocol oh. separated. Oh. He's got them divided and it's time to conquer. Rolls through. Oh, rolling cutter. Just look at that energy from Adonis Payne. Launches him up oh. to the apron. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Oh! Catches McCarthy with the Guri. Rolls through. Looking for the cutter, but Big McCarthy puts the brakes on. He's up. Oh! oh. Whisper in the wind. From Adonis Payne. You're right, and we would not have seen that from Adonis Payne a few months ago. No, absolutely. The mood in the Odyssey camp is so high right now. Tag made. Oh, a drop kick. A drop kick from Liam McCarthy, though, a man that size. And it looks like Artemis has taken a hit on the uh, on the ropes there. And that is just adding insult to injury. You can't get involved in this match right now. Oh, look at this. Assisted splash. Oh, wait. They're not done, Em. They're not done. Oh, thunderous splash. God, I felt that one. Oh. And Artemis breaking things up by just shoving Connor Albright. In to make the pin and look at this, just dragging the carcass of Adonis Payne. Tag made. Artemis is in. Again, picks up Connor. Big slam.
Oh, and again, Artemis in there again with. <gasps> oh, it picks up! Oh, a huge! A huge slam! What? A thunderous slam from Artemis! Have you ever seen anything like that, Em? I have not. Picks him up. up. Three! Oh. Here we go. One, One two, two, three! Odyssey victorious! I feel like the protocol needs some lessons in science. Don't they know splashes would make an Odyssey stronger? So that a sea pun? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I ought to see what you did there. That was a hella impressive display. That was incredible. Hotsam is just slammed Liam McCarthy. Sugoi. I think I want to be Artemis when I grow up. I don't think I want to grow up, but I can absolutely understand why you'd want to be like us. Not only has she won the Rumble, she's just picked up a victory for the Odyssey. Absolutely amazing. And the two of them work so well together. Well, now she's here, the question is, where is she going to go next? Exactly. It seems the power of friendship um, might just will out. Is, is Artemis calling a shot at the tag champs? It seems that way. Guerrilla Warfare just sat to our right. They say, you know, they look, they're up for the challenge. I'll tell you something, Ollie. I am excited for that match. Shot has been called. So we may just get the Odyssey taking on Guerrilla Warfare. I also say the sheer power of Artemis kept that microphone going when Chase Anthony couldn't. Absolutely, I think. Uh, yeah, I think Chase maybe needs to take the hint. You know what I'm saying? Bye. Gorilla 
What does Buddy Hyde say? I swear, if she makes my, if, if Armas is the reason this mic drops for the next match, I'm not going to be happy. I might take that opportunity away. I can! <laughs> oh, it hurts. It's, it's almost painful now. If you watch that back in slow motion, you can almost see the moment his heart breaks. <laughs> Of course it's going to turn into a Mimi. Of course. Good, you're welcome. We still have a lot of action to come. This is going to go again. This is, I'm going to stand here. Maybe it won't go. Main event. Two undefeated warriors have sacrificed pro wrestling. One side. One side. Tommy Kyle. That's right, folks. The Win Heavyweight Championship is going to be defended. And you know, Em, you were fangirling in the last match. It's my turn. My time's a fanboy right now because Simon Miller's in the house. I've accepted that, that I'll always come second to Simon Miller in your life. And do you know what? I, I get it. He's a powerful <laughs> man. I'm fine with second place. No, you will never be second place. He's like... He's like he's like like second. He, he's second, like, like everybody else is like fifth. You're okay, still top, right, aren't he, you? Okay. Yeah, I get that. He deserves like three places. Yeah. So yeah, you 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 can take number one. Miller can have two, three, four, five, maybe six through ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's just great to see the master of the ups and downs here live in Bedford. And a lot of people are asking me, Ollie, Ollie, why do you love Simon Miller? I'm like, why? Snap head. I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's because he's so great. He, I'm very, I'm thoroughly sports entertained by Simon Miller. And he's just the best dude. He's just the loveliest guy. He is a lovely guy. Can confirm. Just like that. <laughs> you can see uh, Simon Miller seems to be in a bit of pain and discomfort already. He does. There was a rumour flying around the locker room that he's having some uh, some problems with his back. Oh, that's not going to be that's not going to be good for him. Absolutely not. But this is the thing I always say: Simon Miller has a passion for this industry like very few people do, and I know he's not going to be dropping out of a match like this. However, the win heavyweight champion said things got very personal when he, he found a clip from like 2016 mm. where Simon Miller said something bad about Northampton and he took that personally. He feels very strongly about Northampton, does David Grant. Somebody has to. You be careful, he'll call <laughs> you out next. So right, me and Simon, we're pals. I'll just send it back in there for me. I, I would pay serious money to see you and Simon in a tag team. <laughs> so that's one ticket sold. Uh, not much of a crowd, unfortunately. I, but I know buy 400 tickets. <laughs> Weighing in 
<laughs> They're not wrong. Where is the lie? They're not wrong. Does that mean they're right? Or left? <laughs> Don't ask Chase. This is a match for the Win Heavyweight Champion. If this is edited and released before the 23rd of March, then make sure you get your tickets for the show on the 23rd of March. And there's the opening bell, and oh, straight away, you see David Grant running in, but Miller was ready with a boot. And look at this aggression from Simon Miller. Great reversal. Oh. oh. And that was a hard whip into the buckles. If he does have a back injury, that is that is gonna that's gonna hinder his progress. Speaking of progress, the last uh, last match Simon Miller had against uh, against Connor Mills up in Manchester, a lot of damage done to uh, to Miller's body in that match. Not surprised he's still feeling it. Ooh. Clubbing blow across the spine. And this arm stretch right now with, I think David Grant putting the knuckles right into the rib cage. You can see that pain on Simon Miller's face. Ooh. He is not in a good way right now. And no wonder he came out the uh, out of the blocks firing all cylinders because he knows as soon as David Grant gets his hand on him, it's going to be all downhill from there. Well, you said it yourself, Ali. Simon Miller's uh, passion for this this industry, this sport, is he's not going down without a fight. He's going down with a clubbing blow to the spine, though. Mm, could be. Oh, up on the shoulders. That's a lot of man meat. Up on the shoulders of David Grant. He's down. The man that Simon Miller eliminated from the Rumble. <laughs> Trying to pick him up, but again, that back giving out. Shoves him off. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and there you oh. go. For the second time in as many shows, Miller launching David Grant out of the ring over the top rope. But M, this is not a rumble. It's not. This match continues and David Grant taking the fight to the master of the ups and downs. Oh! Plays first into the apron, goes David Grant. Oh, and he's, he's coming our way. He's coming our way. Oh! oh. Face first off the desk. And Miller breaks the count. Oh, and resets it. There we go. <laughs> yep. Of course, if they get up to the referee, gets up to 10. Referee Lilith up to 10. This match is disqualified. But Miller breaks the count, so uh, count starts all over again. I don't think he'd be breaking anything apart from his uh, his jaw off of that, though. Reversal oh. on. Grant into the ring. Miller follows. Let's 
Simon Miller with a head of steam, big Ooh. splash in the corner. You guys remember, you see the ring almost shifting on that. I mean, Simon Miller is an absolute jacked and stacked human being. He's got muscles in places I don't have. He's got muscles on muscles. His, his muscles are muscly. <laughs> his biceps do bicep day. Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh! Oh that my god. Ten punches from Miller and just one from David Grant rocks Miller. Oh wait! Oh! oh. David Grant was a steam train and Miller was on the tracks. Miller wants ten. Here we go. Will he get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, that gets an up from me. David Grant looks a little shook. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. The most deadliest move in all of sports two. entertainment only gets oh. the two. The deadly roll up. Miller says he's going up. The master going of the ups up. and downs. Looking to get the dark fruits daddy on his back, but David Grant Not just. Going. I think that spine, the damage has been done. Oh! oh! Shoulder first into the solid steel ring post. That's good. Oh, and now the trapezius lock pulling Miller up. Trying to force his way into this camel clutch. Oh, camel oh. clutch locked in. Camel clutch locked in. Can Miller hold on? Oh, and Miller taps to the camel clutch. Oh, that was tough. There is no winner. And still, we're wrestling heavyweight champion, David Grant. So David Grant rolls on to the 23rd of March in Northampton, where we'll defend that title again. But M, that was a strong, strong showing. It was. You can see that was that was just pure personal for David Grant. I don't think he was going to let anything get in his way, it's even something as strong as Simon Miller. So Miller, unfortunately, not picking up the victory, not picking up the title. He's got a big few weeks ahead of him. WrestleMania weekend in Philadelphia. As you said, and that was very personal from the moment he said anything bad about Northampton. David Grant knew one day his opportunity would come to get one back. And it looks like today he did. The crowd loves him though, don't they? Everybody loves him. Especially you. Especially me. He just makes me feel warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. He does, doesn't he? He does. He's a good man. Let's see how long this lasts. This time. We're going to be really quick, because I'm going to lose this mic in a second. David Grant retains the win championship. We now move on to our six man tag match where arguably the Grand Vision comes again in the form of Kent Nelson!
First man in this match. Memes coming out. But M, what do you make of this absolute cluster of a six-man match that Chase Anthony's thrown together? I am uh, terrified and excited to see what's going to go down here. And you know what a meme is, right? It's it's just me, me. And when you got me, just you, you. No, me, me. Oh. So with me, it's it's just with memes, multiple memes. It's just me, 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 me. And that's exactly how I look at memes. He is just uh, when it comes to memes, he's all just it's, all it's just me, 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 me. No dough, no Ray, or Farlow. So. Tar, D, all the other ones. Just me. Just me. Just you. Second oh. man at home. We Here saw we him go. earlier on. Has he still got that smoking jacket on? No, oh, no, he's switched up a little bit. He's actually got into his ring gear. That's what we like to see. Dangerous Danny Mayhem. Yeah, Danny Mayhem, a, a sacrifice original, an OG, if you will. From day one. Was that, earlier on was telling me some. Uh, we're walking, we're taking a walk down memory lane. He shared a, a, a heartwarming story about Twister. Oh yeah. Yeah, he sounds like an interesting guy. He was. Hmm. Third man in this team, Ken Nelson, flanked by the executioners of Chase Anthony's so-called vision. Chase Anthony's right hand man. You sure it's the right hand? Chase, Chase doesn't know which one's which. <laughs> Chase Anthony's left hand man. <laughs> it's one of his hands. Chase Anthony's hand man. Handy That's man. Yeah. Nope, nope, Ken nope. Nelson just goes round and fixes his bog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that because he's full of sh Do we have to? Do we have to? Mm. Me, me, so, me, 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 right? Me, 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 me. Just me, 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 me. Talk about me. Oh, here we go. The first man in the team that is opposing these three men. Or is it? <laughs> Emily Spring, if that is your real name. <laughs> the former Ultimate Sacrifice champion. And the truther himself. Truman Roswell. This is this is he hails from off the bridge. Truman Roswell. What do you make of Truman Roswell, Em? I'm not allowed to say. It's been redacted. Redacted. For your safety. For my safety? Yes. Well, I appreciate your sacrifice. I appreciate this sacrifice. Sacrifice <laughs> Pro Wrestling. Look us up on the socials. I have trained you well. <laughs> <laughs> Truman Roswell has two tag team partners. Oh. First out, second out, should we say, all oh, chill, Charlie. Charlie, is that a poncho or an Udi? 
Might uh, be a poncho. It looks very comfortable. I think it's uh, I think it's both. I think it's a ponchi. A ponchi. <laughs> Is that when a uh, a poncho and a nudie mate and have a baby and then? Yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. I, I understand how clothes are made. <laughs> when mummy <laughs> clothes and daddy clothes <laughs> love each other very much. Very much. <laughs> And third, last but by absolutely no means least. A crowd favourite. Especially here in his hometown. Shogun J from right here in Bedford. Bedford's so good they named the Shire after it. There you go. We love Bedford. We had a doubt in Bedford yesterday. That's true. It was very good. We had a great time. Shout out to Ready Steady Roll. I think Truman's forgotten what he's doing. Pointing at the ring. It's a wrestling ring, right? This! 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 Is false advertising. Uh, and I'll tell you for why. See, this is a six man tag match. And I am involved. And of course, referee Nick. We love Nick. There's a lot of beef between uh, Nick and Truman. We'll get into that, I'm sure. Okay. Wait, what? But Truman said he's going to get the night off. Chase, Anthony, you can't be serious about allowing this. And if you don't do so, my friend Chase Anthony will have you fired. Oh, come on now. That, Em, that's, that's not right. This can't be. Somebody get the rule book. So, look, we looks like we have Nick as the... Nick's in this match. Tr Wait. Truman Roswell's going to officiate. I don't. I don't like this one bit, Ollie. Nick looks 
I mean, his job is on the line. If he doesn't participate in this match, he's going to get fired? Yeah, but if he does participate in this match, he could get killed. It could be the last... Oh, <laughs> Danny, you shush. You hush your mouth. Wait, you, wait, Nick, Nick, don't start this. This is a tag team match. You've got a team. You can rely on them. Nick, you... Are you ready? Oh, and of all people, oh I mean, it's God. Ken Nelson starting. This can't be legal. This is what happens when Chase Anthony's in charge. He's bringing out his guard dogs now. More like little bitches, am I right? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> pinging, <laughs> pinging the braces. Oh! Ooh. Turnabout's fair play. He wasn't braced for that. Brace yourself, Ollie. <laughs> Brace yourself, <laughs> listeners, for the puns. Oh, man, if only Peter Nixon was watching this. Oh! oh! <laughs> of all things I was, I was not expecting to see today. A brace-off. Oh. A brace-off and that photo of Twister. Mm. They probably do well. To no, oh. no, 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 come on, no, no. Ken, put no, him no, down. Put him oh, down. Nick able to escape. Tag made. Oh, thank goodness. Uh. Nick Cooper must be protected at all costs. He is a national treasure. We do not deserve Nick Cooper. He is a gem and must be protected at all costs. Unlike Danny Mayhem, let's just see them kick seven shades out of him. Off the ropes. Oh, Ooh. Charlie Ducks takes out the feet. Oh. There's a drop kick. Charlie not so tag chill made. right now. Memes is tagged in. Me, 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 me. And we know there is no love lost between these two. Just go back and have a look at the match between Memes and Shogun J. And who, who won that match? Let me think. Mm, who, who was it? Mm. Was it me, 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 me? Oh! oh. oh. Oh! Shogun J firing on all cylinders. The sheer power of Shogun J right now. The undeniable force that is Shogun J in Bedford. Oh, oh. big kick right to the pectoral. And back oh. sent on. And Bedford's own riding the wave right now. Oh, but memes. Playing dirty. It's the only way he can level the playing field. Ooh. Not that I would insinuate that any of the uh, the football fields in Bedfordshire are uh, are not level. Oh, uh, Truman. Truman is saying he can hit. He hit he heard the tag. Nick is just being coerced into this match. And of course Truman's happy to allow this. Kent tag back in. Here we go again. The braces are off. Oh. He's, le he's learned. Oh, and just wearing out Nick Hooper. Shoulder into the rib cage. Oh, Nick. Oh! Close oh. like he's dead. He's, he's gone. Oh, okay, God, come on! Get come out. on! Truman, disqualify them! Come on, play it fair! What? Come on! Oh, why is he even... Nick Cooper just been absolutely... To... Oh, me, me! No, come on! Stop this! Somebody help Nick! Scoro and I aren't even in this match. Oh, cut, look at this. Can you, can you believe this? Shaking hands. Meant to be impartial. Meant to call it down the middle. Shocking behaviour. Means has got nicked by the hair. Picks him up. Scoop slam. Just pit, just end this. Just end this. 
Oh, Nick yeah. Kirkwood with the shoulder up. Go on, Nick. Tag made, in comes that swine, Danny Mayhem. One quarter of the first ever main event here at Sacrifice. All the way back at chapter one. Those were the good old days. Chapter one. Oh, oh. Nick with the feet up. Oh, no, no. Hung up. Oh, oh. neck breaker. Nick again oh. with the shoulder up. Is Truman, is Truman just picking the rules that he likes? Pretty much. And while there's some arguing behind uh, by the, the tag is made, in comes Charlie. He said it. Come on, it was right in front of you. We saw it, Truman. Everybody here saw it. And there's another tag he didn't see. Oh, but, oh, yeah, yeah oh, but yeah, they doesn't care yeah. about that one. Maybe his oh, third eye saw oh, it. Oh, no. Kent, put, <laughs> put him down. This is a family put show. Him down. Oh, oh, oh. Not like oh. that. That is too, far too cheeky. No wonder Nick's cracking under the pressure. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, but. No, but, no, no buts. But. No buts. <laughs> Just being absolutely embarrassed at the hands of Kent Nelson. Nick Cooper in a, in a, in a world of trouble right oh. now. He's in a deep, dark hole and he's really struggling to get out of it. This is genuinely dangerous. Calling for oh. a stunner. Oh, wait, wait, Nick pushes no. him up. And Nick, stunner yes. for Nick Cooper. Wait, wait. Oh. Keep spamming that finisher button, Nick. We're going to see the atomic leg drop. Oh. Leg drop. Go on, Nick. Count it. Start Count it, Truman. Truman. Count. One. One. Oh, come on! Okay, could have counted to about twenty in that point. Do you think? Do you think Truman Wasmel can count to twenty? Drake can even count to three. Mm. You think numbers are real? Oh, Nick! Oh, and that was a fast count. Can you believe this, Em? Can you believe what you're seeing? Uh, I mean, I've learned not to believe anything I, I see with my own eyes. Uh-oh. Oh, wait! Yeah. Stuck her out of somewhere! Nick oh. Cooper hits the cutter on memes. And this is his chance, Em. This is Nick's opportunity. Do it. Tag made. In comes Charlie. Oh! Big forearm from all chill, Charlie. Charlie's not looking so chill right now. He is riled up. Riled up at the hands of Truman Roswell and his antics as referee. Well, Nick Cooper looks like he's gone 12 rounds with Mike Tyson. Oh. Big forearm to Danny Mayhem. Things you love to see. <gasps> Flapjack. Oh, no. Ken Nelson just says, screw this. Comes in, throws Charlie around. Picks him up. Oh. Oh. Samoa oh. drop. PK from Jay. Oh, yeah. This match is breaking down. Oh. Another boot to the face of Jay. It's not enough. It's firing him up. Oh. Oh. 
big strike. And a forearm. And this now just both men trading bombs. Jay's had enough, sweeps the legs. And this match is breaking down. I, I don't know what's going on right now. There's bodies everywhere. Well, it's, I mean, it's out of the ring. It is, uh, well, it's, uh, it's out of the room. Shogun Jay chasing off memes and with Charlie being down and out. That leaves Nick Cooper in the ring. He's lightning Kent Nelson up. He's got him in his sights. Turn around, Kent. <gasps> oh! Truman! Truman! Just tripped him up. Oh, I'm never happy when Chase Anthony's smiling. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, yes. cross body from all Jill Charlie. He's down. Here comes Danny Mayhem. Oh. Single arm spine buster. Into the pin. One. Come on. Two. Truman, come on. Oh, oh Danny Mayhem kicks out at two point whatever. It's three, Truman. After two is three. Oh. Low blow and... That's not very chill. How is that? Is he serious? Kick out at two from Charlie. Definitely a two. Yeah, twos are... Truman's good at number twos. Oh, look at this, look at oh. this. Oh. No! Big, big slam to Danny yes. Mayhem. One. Two. two. Oh. This is this. This isn't even a conspiracy. A conspiracy you have doubts over this. Truman Roswell, more like Falseman Roswell. <laughs> he is not a true man right now. Ross, not well. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Nick, 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 no. no. Super oh. kick. No. Up on the shoulders. Ken Nelson. Excellent. Oh. The attack. One, two. Oh, the quickest oh, three on. count you'll ever hear. What a farce. What are you? Here are your winners. Danny Mayhem and Kent Nelson. Yeah, of course Chase is happy about this. Shocking behaviour, folks. Absolutely shocking behaviour. Somebody get Nick somehow. Truman Roswell shaking hands with the... I mean, under no way was that called down the middle. With no, under no way was that fair. Well, come on, guys. Charlie and Charlie and uh, and Danny Mayhem just brawling as well. This is what an absolute shambles. Just chaos from start to finish. I hope you're happy, Chase. Never. Stand with me. Stand with me here. Let us raise arms together. Come on, Ken. The Grand Vision! More like Chuckle Vision. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> to Mimi. <laughs> to you. Right, you're perfect. You're holding the shots now, yeah? You're the big man in charge. Your vision. Yes, my vision. No. 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 I didn't know about these boys getting into the pit. I didn't know about the referee switch. How come those three boys behind me like ticking time bomb championship shot? And I'm left in triple and whatever nonsense. The mixed man rubbish among the crowd. Knock him out, Are you supposed to be your man? Shut up, Mark. Listen, bro. I want to be in the title match. Next. I want to be in the main event. I want to go for that 
of a sacrifice. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Okay. 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 You okay. shut up. Okay. Okay. You shut up. Scurro just attacking Kent Nelson and Kent Nelson fighting them off. We're watching the team break down before our eyes here, Ollie. The Grand Vision attacking Kent Nelson. Kent Nelson didn't see this coming. <gasps> oh, Scurro. Takes, oh, come on, uh, it's enough. Enough is enough. Oh. And a forearm to the back of the head. Like what? Are, what are the vision doing? Oh, oh. DDT stomp combo. The Grand Vision standing over the body of Kent Nelson and Emily, it seems that Chase Anthony is done with Kent Nelson. All he wanted was a title shot. That's not so much to ask after all he's done for Chase Anthony. Chase Anthony just drops friends like that then not as if does does yeah. he have friends? Does Chase Anthony have friends? I think he has followers. He has lap dogs. He doesn't have a Kent Nelson anymore. Kent Nelson's better off without him. Good job, Lewis is here to help him to the back. That's right, folks. It's main event time, and the Ultimate Sacrifice Championship is on the line. 461 days since it last changed hands. Is today the day that streak ends? Well, Tommy Carl has been unbeaten since returning to Sacrifice. Alexander Roth has been unbeaten since gaining that championship. Anything could happen, Em. Well, I know one thing for sure. Okay. After this match, we won't be able to say that for both of these men. Someone's got to lose this match. Something's got to give. The absolute maverick, Tommy Kyle has all the tools to be a champion in sacrifice. Is it just a matter of time? He's looking confident. It's the aviators. It'll do that to you. So 
with a winning streak of Tommy Kyle on the line. Momentum is high with the absolute maverick. But as we said, folks, 461 days. That's a lot of days. So many days. That's more days than Truman Roswell can count. <laughs> Member of the 87. RIP Warren Banks. Retire in peace. Retire in peace. Phew. Banks enjoying his retirement. We've already seen Big Wavy tonight. And we've already seen Harrison Leon tonight. Yeah. So the final member of the 87. At least on tonight's card. That's true. And here he comes to defend his championship. The multiversal one himself. 461 days. That is so many days. So many days. And Roth, another man that's been with Sacrifice for so long. I believe it was Chapter 2 or Chapter 3. That the hit set are in the uh, in the tag team tournament. So from almost a day one thing. There's been a lot of champions since then. How many more will we have? Because Roth right now, you haven't even been able to wrestle that out of his cold, dead hands. The following matchup is scheduled for one fall. Five, five, four. And it's for the ultimate sacrifice championship. <laughs> Introducing first. To my right, he has flown in today from the Air Nomad Southern Air Temple. He is our challenger, the absolute maverick, Tommy Kyle. There's a lot of good support here for Tommy Kyle. Stage is set. The grandest prize in Sacrifice Pro is on the line. Alexander Roth in the white shorts. Tommy Kyle in the black and red tights. Tights. Very tight. Tight tights. Tight tights. Two guys absolutely beloved here at Sacrifice. Tommy Carr with an undeniable winning streak. Oh. There we go. Nice show of respect from both of the boys up there. That's what we love to see. That's why the fans love both these guys. Oh. We're not scoring points, but if we were, 1 0 rough. Did he just twerk? Probably. Oh. Those hips do not lie. Mm. 
Corner by time and now Tommy Kyle showing his techers. Ooh. Takes him down with that wrist lock. And Roth back up to his feet. Reverses that wrist lock. Some pelvic sorcery from Tommy Kyle. It really is a, uh, a human game of chess so far in this match. The feeling out process. So there's no beef between these two, M. No. Mutual respect. Shoulder tackle from Roth. Springs up, drops down. Drop kick from Whoa. Roth. They're looking quite evenly matched so far. Reversal on the Irish whip. Drops down. Pops up. Oh, up and over. Cockiness from Roth. Tommy Kyle just kips up and over. And he almost broke a sweat in. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Oh. oh, that looked like it hurt. Done it again. Can you switch it for another one? Forearms from Roth. Backs up, picks him up. Goes behind, picks him up. Oh, oh. tilts a world backbreaker. That looked like it hurt. Now Roth strikes in the corner from Roth. Oh, oh, right in the chest. Oh, that's not. Oh, and a oh. chop again from Roth. Hard enough to knock him down. Strike in retaliation from Tommy Kyle. This match just got a, a little bit more physical. Oh! I don't think that's the hug it looks like. Rear waist lock from Roth. Ooh. Looking to just gain some control in this match. Tommy Kyle reaching for a rope. And oh. Roth able to use his momentum. Sorry. Tommy Kyle was use his momentum to launch Roth out the ring. Out he goes. Oh. Oh. He's tangled up in those ropes right now. And Hangs him up. Hang oh. that DDT from Tommy Kyle. It looks like Tommy is going to fly. And oh, no. Roth puts the brakes on, changes the, uh, changes the runway on him. And this match now spilling to the outside. Oh. Oh, big uppercut. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, Ross. Yeah, Jason not a uh, legal man in this match. Oh, oh, boot from Tommy Kyle into the pin. One, One. two. Oh. Two count only.
And again, now it's... That determination. Continually a challenge for control in this match. Who can maintain control the longest? Tommy Ooh. Carr trying to slow things down and get the, uh, get the control of this match. Oh, oh what a my. huge, huge I think Irish it's working, Ali. Oh. Tommy Carl, so uh, so underrated as a technical wrestler. You look at him, you see the high flying maneuvers. You see the big moves, but technically so gifted inside that ring. Oh. Big uppercut. Roth just like ragdoll down there. Tommy Carl taking the wind right out of him. Oh. Big strikes. Oh, and another from from Tommy Kyle. Oh, oh standing oh. moonsault into the pin. One, One two. two. Kick out at two. Roth fighting back with some big palm strikes. Oh, big forearm. Both Another. guys starting to look tired now, Ollie. Oh, clothesline from Roth. Into the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two. You can hear him. It's a split crowd. Both guys getting cheers. They've got. They've both got support here, and and you can see why, Ollie. Giving absolutely everything they can. In this match, looking for Roth Bottom. Whoa. Countered. Countered by Tommy Kyle. Off the ropes. Ducks it. Side throw suplex. Tommy Kyle. Oh, big ends of Gary in the corner. Hooks him in. Tornado DDT. And he's held on him. Oh, this is tense. Shoves him into the corner. Oh, oh. Kyle High Cutter! Rolls him over. One, One, two. two. Oh. Oh. Roth with the shoulder up. Barely out there. Somehow this match continues so even, evenly matched. You just can't, can't call it, but that was a big back elbow. You say evenly matched, Holly, and you're right. It's not just the, uh, the skills, it's the passion you can see in these guys. Neither of them ready to give up. Oh. Both of them know what's on the line here, and both of them want it. Tommy Carl trying to pick him up and unable to do so. They're in a dangerous spot here, are they? Not a lot of room on that apron. Oh, oh. A knee strike from Roth. Now Roth slings us him in. Into the pin. One, two. Oh, oh. kick out at two for Tommy Kyle off of that slingshot cutter. Oh, 
There's both men down. Jockey for some sort of position right now, but still throwing their strikes. Oh! <laughs> They're both looking exhausted, but still, still trying. Maybe that's why the crowd loves them both. So Absolutely, that's Whoa. that passion you alluded to. That that willingness to never give up. Big knee strike. Ross just hammering on to Tommy Kyle right now. Off the ropes. Whoa. Avoids it. Oh, big back elbow again. And a boot. Swings it. Oh, and Roth put the brakes on. On the shoulders. Looking for that go to knee. Oh, countered, countered. Oh, oh. hits the other knee instead. Look at this rebound. No, oh. from Tommy Kyle. That's, you can see that took a lot out of him. And again, both guys down. Both guys struggling to get a position right now. Neither man with an advantage. So evenly matched. Wait, wait, reversal. Into the heel hook. Oh, he's got the inverted figure four. Submission hold locked in. Can Tommy Kyle enough? hold on? And Roth now transitioning into the ankle lock. Kyle rolls through into the pin. One, one, two. two. Oh. Escape from Roth. Oh. Kyle springs up in. Spin oh. from Tommy Kyle. Into the pin. One, one two. Two. Oh. Oh. two count only. Oh, super oh. kick from Roth. Spear. One, two, two. Oh, car oh. kicks out at two. How much have these guys got left to give? Those tanks must be pretty empty right now, even if they're running on fumes. So, one man will leave today with that championship. Oh, ducks it. Jumps up. Oh, oh caught, him. Caught, caught him. Sleeper hold locked in. Sleeper hold locked in. Oh, reversal from Tommy Carl. Forces the shoulders down. One, two, two. two. Oh. So close. Whoa. Catches it. Goes into the pin. Into the pin. One, one two. two. Roth retains! Roth retains! What a match! Alexander Roth retains! But M, that match could have gone either way. It was so close, but do you know what? Tomorrow morning, Alexander Roth is going to wake up. 462 days undefeated. 462 days at least, but what a match that was, then. Um. That was incredible. We're and only, look now. We're only two mad two shows into we're uh, into the year, but that's the match of the year contender for sure. Absolutely, Ali. And look at this. Whoa. Oh, Shogun whoa, whoa, Jay whoa. and Memes, they're still fighting. Are they? Have they been going this whole time? The brawl spills back into the middle of the ring. Oh, blocks it. Off the ropes. PK from Shogun J.
Oh, but Roth is saying it's my time. And Shogun Jay, the number one contender, may be due his shot. And he may just get it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness indeed. To borrow words from a wonderful man. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are biased. But the stage is set, folks. That match is on April 28th. Shogun J, Alexander Roth. But that does bring a close to today's proceedings. I've been the mastermind Ollie Spring. I've been Emily Spring. And folks, we'll see you on April 28th. But for now, good night.